I experienced symptoms throughout my 20s, except that I didn't know what that was about. I thought it, I was tired all the time because I was a full-time college student and working part-time. And um, I just basically always felt like I had the flu. I had low-grade fevers. I was really tired all the time. When my sister first started going through the tests, they were, um, they were pretty big and there were a lot of tests that needed to be done to try to come together with a diagnosis by putting all these different things together. But when we started seeing my sister going through the pain and uh, the debilitating sort of um, chronic symptoms that lupus causes, it was very hard for us to see. And I think the most frustrating part was the fact that we really couldn't do much more about it than just really be there and support her. My vision has been affected. Um, I go through episodes where I don't see clearly and that starts to scare me. Um, also even my memory, this sounds a little bit strange, but sometimes I go through episodes where it takes me a while to articulate what I'm thinking. Um, I've had kidney inflammation. Experiencing going through this with my sister after being diagnosed 10 years ago has been difficult for myself and for my family. We've you know, felt her frustration and her pain with her. I used to take Plaquenil for a very long time. I also took Naprosyn um, to deal with my joint pain. But the Plaquenil had a very difficult effect on me. Um, I was nauseous every day. I dropped 20 pounds, I think, in six months. The one thing we did have to do is just pull ourselves all together and offer her um, our unwavering love and support. And even in those times where we didn't understand what was going on and questioning it ourselves, really giving her the support of knowing that she had her family there to get her through this. I came to the realization that I needed to make some personal changes in my life to sort of better manage my health. And I went from working full-time at a college to teaching part-time. Uh, that in and of itself helped me dramatically deal with my fatigue. And I also started taking um, anti-inflammatory medication and pain medication for my joint pain. Um, when she decided to have a child, that was a huge risk. It made my mother very, very nervous. And um, many people who have chosen to have children have had a really hard time, and um, it's sometimes been life-threatening. I have a six-year-old daughter who was ANA positive, which in and of itself doesn't mean that she will develop any disease, but she does suffer from chronic pain. Her inflammation markers are super high, um, so that became a, a huge concern for me. And my brother was nice enough to call the Lupus Foundation and have them put us in contact with the pediatric rheumatologist. It's very difficult to find a, uh, a specialist, but in particular with rheumatology, there aren't very many pediatric rheumatologists. At least once I knew of who was a trusted uh, physician in, in the realm of lupus, I felt much more comfortable turning to that particular person. Since I've become aware of lupus through my sister, I've now become aware of all these other people in my life that are also suffering from the disease. So it's become something uh, for me that is, is more important and part of my life. I think it's important to get involved because of the fact that lupus is affecting so many people. Currently approximately 1.5 million Americans have been diagnosed with lupus. There are a lot of people out there that haven't been. It's disproportionately affecting Hispanics. That's a community that my family comes from, so of course that's important to me. I think it's important to understand that more research needs to be done to understand why, and then to also find out what's causing it, find better treatments, and hopefully find a cure.